Piedri's newly painted caravan glows under the glorious smile of Celine. A candlelit insight invites me in. There, he is sipping wine, looking forlorn. Past lives visited in his sweet embrace. Unshed tears are held in with quiet grace. Magical thoughts of a daisy chain's bliss, kicking stones of grief on the path of sorrow. One may have blunders, but all can be right, with creative actions of true beliefs and perseverance of love's attitude, steady as a nightingale's holy song. The Leader It was night as I became aware of my certain step, direction and determination. Piedri's beautifully painted caravan was lit up by the moon. All was calm as I took a deep breath and reached the door, ajar most of the time, but now closed. I could see candlelight through the window, and I knew that he was still up, knowing that I was coming. I opened the door and walked in quietly. He was there sitting at a round table drinking wine. Have some wine, Anna, he said gently. I sat down beside him without answering. Anne asked, Why do you keep calling me, sweetheart? My soul calls you all the time, Anna, so naturally. Then he smiles into my eyes. He always had a twinkle, a tiny bit of mischief, when he looked at me, and my eyes automatically shot stars into his. For this is the way we have always been. I can't sleep. I have been waiting for you. I don't think you should be drinking wine if you are sick. I smile. How well I know this man, the leader of my people. Strong, courageous and true. A heart big enough to embrace the world. Such power he possesses. He is a part of my soul, there is no denying it. And to sit beside him even for such a short while is bliss itself. I knew he felt the same way about me, for our past and present existence can never be questioned. Anna, please sleep with me and rub my tummy. Sleep with you? I believe that would be difficult as one thing would probably lead to another. A flash of anger crossed his handsome face. I knew at that moment that I could have kissed him one way to the heavens. How could you even think that I would? I suddenly felt sad, an overwhelming painful grip in my chest. I will lie with you, sweetheart. He lay down on the bed and I rested my head on his chest as he held me close. My hand made circular motions on his tummy, releasing all the bad energy. I could feel him tighten his embrace and smell my hair as my body molded into his and I dozed off. We were walking hand in hand through a forest, so young. I was 16, it was first love, the first love of all our existences. Sunlight was casting shadows through the trees. Birds were singing brightly, yes, it was spring. We talked peaceful and cheerfully, teasing each other and smiling. All was blissful. I realized that I was holding the leader's hand and we were looking down on our young forms from above. Anna, he was saying, will you love me forever? Of course I will, silly, what a question. Anna was now sitting on the lawn making a daisy chain. He was kicking stones around, walking with hands in his pockets. Anna, if you leave me, I will spend many lives searching for you. Honey, you are breaking my heart. I will never leave you. Come here and sit down. I woke up in his arms. He was sleeping soundly. His tummy now healed. I did not want to leave his embrace, but I knew that I had to. 
for a lot had happened since then, a lot of wrongs that had to be put right. I closed my eyes inhaling his scent, slipped quietly from his embrace and walked to the door. Thank you, Anna, he murmured. I love you. I felt a stab in my chest as I walked back along the track to my reality. Spring sunshine warmed me from my slumber. I was hugging my pillow with all my might. I could hear birds singing and I pulled myself from bed just as my phone rang out.